Steele out by himself in the backfield. Looks to the end zone, has a man. Jump ball, is it caught? It is touchdown! Evan Wilson! Shieldhouse with the pump fake has Lacoste. It is caught. Lacoste. Touchdown, Illinois. TN Live, and if you look at the top of the Big Ten in terms of touchdowns thrown, it's not the list you would assume it would be. Kenny Guyton up at top. Nathan Shieldhouse with his incredible start to the season is right behind with 13. Then Devin Gardner, Nate Sudfeld, and Jake Rudock after that. So let's bring in Nate right now. Nate, considering how many points you're scoring, considering how bad last year was, describe for me how much fun this first month of the season has been. Well, yeah, I think it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I think as players, we've really enjoyed being out there with each other every game. Uh, obviously, when you're successful, it, it definitely makes things a whole lot a whole lot better. But, you know, I think there's a bunch of seniors who, who really want to, um, you know, go out on a good note. I think the way we started off our season uh, has been – you know, kind of what we had always hoped for. Bill Cubitt's in charge of your offense now. Give me an idea which part of this offensive system feels most comfortable to you. Um, you know, I think what feels comfortable, uh, not only to me, I think to all of us, is just when we're playing with that, uh, you know, more up-tempo speed. Uh, I think anytime we're out there and we're kind of flowing and uh, things are moving fast and um, we're really keeping the defense on their heels, um, it, it definitely... I think I've been when we've had a lot of success this year and really been playing at our best. Um, it's something that we've all uh, got comfortable with, but uh, I mean, it was a, it was a process. It was something that we all had to learn how to do better, and um, you know, still are growing and getting better in. How is your head coach Tim Beckman similar or different this year versus last year? Well, you know, I think similar. I think for. Uh, you know, really all the coaches, some of the, that we talked about, you know, even with our strength stuff, you know, you have a plan and you, you know how you, how to go about it. And, you know, some coach back then said that, you know, he, he's had a plan for years and, you know, this is how he's going to kind of go about things. And I think we've probably just done a better job of adjusting to his expectations, um, you know, in the second year. What was learned from the loss to Washington? I think we learned a lot. Um no, honestly, I think the biggest thing that we learned is how good we could be. Uh, you know, I think Washington is a great team. Um, you know, I have a great chance of being a, you know, one of the elite uh, programs in the country. And um, yeah, I think when we look back on that tape, we realize uh, how much we really just gave that game away, and and how much we could have given ourselves a, a lot better chance of winning that game. And I mean, we get to the the fourth quarter and it's a seven point ball game. Um, you know, so I think. You know, when you play a great team like that, uh, you really are, you know, for us, we're, we're kind of figuring out what we're all about. But, you know, I think, um, you know, moving forward, we, we kind of know, we kind of know that, that we should be in these games. We should be really uh, competing with some of the top teams in the country. And um, the great thing about playing in our conference is we will have much chance to prove that. One of the nice weapons you have on this team is Josh Ferguson, and he really blossomed this past weekend. Why? You know, he's done a great job for us all year. Um, you know, really, he's been uh, just one of the most explosive guys on our offense since he arrived on camps, and it's kind of nice just for him to really burst on the scene uh, this year. Um, you know, I think with him healthy and with him playing at full speed, uh, it poses uh, just a lot of different threats to the defense. He's a guy that um, runs the ball well, uh, runs inside and outside, uh, is able to catch the ball out of the backfield, able to split out uh, at receiver and catch the ball as well. Uh, and when you got a guy that's uh, versatile like that, um, you know, it's able to do a lot of things. It definitely ha has to make the defense you know, kind of take note of where he's at at all times. We're talking with Nate Shieldhouse, the Illini QB. Give me your favorite story of someone butchering your last name. There's been a lot of them over the years. So, uh, honestly, it's a lot easier to say than it is spelled. But uh, I think uh, for some reason, I don't know if it was because we were in class, uh, but a teacher said school, Hasi. <laughs> it really doesn't even make sense of how they put two O's in there, but um, yeah, I had to correct them. <laughs> What's the most important thing you have to do this week against Nebraska? You know, I think, uh, you know, playing a great team like Nebraska and playing in that environment, um, you know, that we just have to recognize uh, that, that we belong there. Uh, we have to walk in confident and walk in, um, you know, just just knowing that uh, we belong in this game. And, 
Um, I, I think anytime you go to a, a great venue like that and play a team with as much history and tradition, uh, obviously you want to take in the moment and uh, get to just enjoy the atmosphere and the opportunity to play there. Um, you know, but then once it's time for uh, for the game, you got to strap up, get ready for a 60 minute ball game, uh, and just play confident throughout all of it. Um, there's going to be ups and downs, and you know, uh, a lot of adversity, especially on the road. Um, you know, where that crowd will get loud at times, and uh, we just got to do a good job of keeping focused, keeping locked in, and um, you know, play uh, each and every play, uh, you know, to the to the best of our abilities. Okay, that was very nice, that was very polite, and that was very safe. Now give me an actual answer. What do you have to do against this Nebraska team specifically? <laughs> well, you know, interesting specifically, I think, um, you know, kind of what, you, what you've what seen is, uh, you know, when they've, I guess, struggled at times, teams just taking advantage of the moment. Um, you know, there's going to be opportunities where we can make big plays and uh, I think it's something that you kind of saw UCLA do early on. They didn't really uh, make the big plays uh, when they were there. Uh, but as things started rolling, um, you know, they started taking advantage of those opportunities. And, um, you know, we've been a team that, that has made a lot of big plays this year. Uh, I would say, I would even venture to say we're a big play offense. And we just got to take advantage of every big play we, we have a chance to make. I like that answer much better. Nate Shieldhouse, thanks for the time. We appreciate it, man. Good luck this weekend. No problem. Appreciate it.